It's time to go inside innovation. Well, she's a native Hoosier, freelancer, and tech entrepreneur who needed change in the middle of COVID-19, the pandemic. So she left her uh, nine to five job. She created a new app called We Do. It really helps to simplify the transition from traditional jobs to freelance. And I'm pleased to welcome to the show the founder and the CEO of the new app, the company, Indiana Gregg, and she is gonna talk about the new app and why it is gaining traction in a big way. Indiana, uh, welcome to the show. Hi, it's great to be here. Yeah, so you're a native of Terre Haute, grew up in Terre Haute, uh, and uh, you uh, are an entrepreneur by heart, I think, and uh, this new app, the We Do app, really gets to the, uh, the fact that uh, it's estimated one in four Americans plan on quitting their jobs in 2022, many going into the freelance world, and this app is all about making that, that transition easier. Absolutely, what we're doing is providing tools for people to empower them uh, to do their side hustle or create, you know, a new business for themselves. And, you know, most people have been working from home and that great resignation is really happening. And we know that by 2027, it could be over half the global workforce working in freelance. Yeah, as we were That's talking, yeah, as, <laughs> as we were talking before the interview, uh, the freelancers kind of uh, sometimes don't get the attention perhaps they need to. And they, again, this app really, really gets to that, that, that fact. Talk about how, what, what the app is all about, how it works, and how it really benefits those looking uh, for, that, for that freelance career. Well, there's a barrier to entry for a lot of freelance. So the risk is that you spend a lot of money to get your business started. And what we do is relieve the, the front end payment point. So we don't charge a SaaS. And we provide tools that allow people to manage their calendar. Um, they can create communities or one-to-one -one, um, face to face meetings and take payments in real time, take payments in any currency, including crypto, as well as fiat, dollar, pound, euro, et cetera. And what that does is it globalizes your ability and your reach as a freelancer. And then it's very interesting for SMEs who are hiring very specific skill sets um, to be able to do that seamlessly in one application very easily. So you're invoicing, you're contracting, your payroll if you hire people in, yeah. in a small business or an enterprise situation on the other side of the market. Um, so yeah, it, that, that's what we do. It's really simple. It empowers you to take payments without any hassle. Yeah, and the timing, timing is everything in the world of uh, entrepreneurship, if you will. And certainly the, the pandemic is a challenge for everyone, but for your business model, I'm sure it's been a, been a, a really positive boost. Yeah, it's been helpful. It's, it's sped up the process to, to some extent, but the J curve in the market, you know, we know that freelancing was and is and always, has been a thing, but not quite as big as this movement that we're seeing right now. And I think the pandemic has given us some uh, wind behind the sails for sure. But I think that's continuing. Um, people realize that you spend so much of your life in work, you, you should be doing something and using your skills for yourself and not always for the man. So yeah. it's about empowering more people, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you've raised some money, closed on a $2.3 million round, have raised more than $3 million in total. And for female founders, who it's well documented, the challenges female founders have in raising money, that's, uh, that's a positive development. Yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, I'm one of the 2% that have raised funds through VCs in the past year, and uh, that, that number needs to change. And, you know, women are out there creating wonderful technologies, and I feel like the world's missing out on, you know, perhaps catastrophic breakthroughs, you know, that, that they, they won't see if they don't invest in women. So I'm, I'm pleased to kind of hit the glass ceiling and broke through a little bit there. <laughs> All right, Indy Gregg, the founder and CEO of We Do, uh, an app uh, that uh, really targeted to freelancers. She's a Terre Haute native, a Hoosier uh, native. And Indy, really been a pleasure to talk with you and good luck with the app going forward. Thank you, great to be here, thank you. All right.